Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can sync up an additional, a second PlayStation 5 controller. I'm going to show you how to do it via a cable and also wirelessly. The easiest way is via a cable, but you need to make sure you've got the correct cable. For example, if I was to use this USB-C cable here, it will fit and it will also charge. So you might think that it will allow you to sync it up to your PlayStation 5, but it won't. If I hit the PlayStation button now, it will flash blue here for a second, but you can see it's not doing anything up on screen. That's because this cable here here is just a charge cable. There's only two wires in it just for charging. We need data wires in there as well, four wires, two for charging and two for data to allow this to communicate with the PlayStation 5. So unfortunately, this will not sync it up. Try to get a cable that has more than just two wires connected. This is actually from a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. This will work. Also, many other cables will work. We've got USB-A here and also two ports at the back. We can also sync it up using the USB-C here and uh, so that's USB-C to USB-C. And then all we have to do is plug it in here and it will still charge but now when we hit the PlayStation button it will actually connects so you can see now it's connected. Unfortunately the battery in here is completely flat and it will also need an update but you can see it has now communicated with the PlayStation 5 controller so once it's charged up you will then update it and it will be working fine. So now I'm going to show you a way to do it wirelessly if you have a controller that's already working and then you don't have to worry about connecting up via a cable but it is a slightly longer process to do. This is by far the easiest way to do it. Right, so this has now been disconnected from here. If I was to hit the PlayStation button here, you can see it's not connecting. It's still got a very flat battery. What we have to do is we have to get a working controller and we have to go up to settings and then we're going to go down to where it says accessories and we're going to go to Bluetooth accessories, not controller, but Bluetooth accessories under general. And I'm going to press X. And now we need to put the new controller into pairing mode. To do this, we're going to hold down the create button and the PlayStation button together. It's better if you hit this one just a split second before here, because then it will definitely, definitely work. So if you hit this before here, it's not going to go into pairing mode. So I'm holding down create now, now PlayStation, holding down for about three or four seconds until it starts strobing. There we go. It's now strobing here. I can see a little blue light. And look here, it's found DualSense wireless controller. So I'm going to use the working controller and I'm going to go down to DualSense wireless controller and press X and it says please wait and it says do you want to register this Bluetooth accessory? I'm going to put yes. Please wait and there we go. You can see now we're connected but still it wants to update and we can't update now because the battery is still too low. But you can see now it's communicated with the PlayStation 5 again. So once you charge it up, you update it and then it will be working fine as a wireless controller. So that's it, the two ways to connect up your PlayStation 5 controller, wired and wirelessly. Thanks for watching.